Wanted to speak to you today about how to properly size your vest. One of the main reasons why vests do not fit properly is either they're too long in the front or they achieve too much overlap in the side. The point of your vest is to provide you protection, it's not necessarily comfort. Sometimes we can reach a, a combination between the two. Other times, it's just gonna be mainly about the protection. I do need you to keep in mind this vest was custom fit for an individual other than yourself. So what we're gonna be trying to do is get this vest to fit you as closely as possible. Each vest purchased through our eBay store is gonna be measured the same way, by length and width of the panel. Even though they are sourced through various manufacturers who each have a different style of profile of their panel, all panels are gonna be sized the same way, by length and width of the panel. So in measuring, the key measurement is going to be mainly around your abdomen. This is what's going to determine how wide your panel is. It's also going to be up to you to determine how much side coverage you want on the side of those panels. First measure will be around the abdomen. Seems like I need to put your arms straight out. Around the mid-abdomen. Arms down, please. Then wherever you land, if you're at a quarter inch over, round up to the nearest inch. Let's say that measurement's 40 inches around. What we're going to need you to do is add 6 inches to that 40 to give us a 46 for a standard around the abdomen measurement. The other thing that's going to be key is your front sitting measurement. More often than not, when somebody runs into a problem with their vest, it's regarding the length of the overall front panel. This mainly occurs when the individual sits down. Now, another contributing factor to the vest riding up or choking you out is the fact that most individuals cinch their vest very, very tight around their abdomen. I'm not going to tell you how to wear your vest, but it's something that needs to be taken into consideration. Getting back to that front sitting measurement, it's to be measured from the upper notch of your sternum to an inch above the duty belt, if you have one available, or to the navel. As you can see, as Pete sits down, the vest is not riding up and in, in coming up into his throat, sitting high enough to be able to give him some room and some clearance for a duty belt when he's wearing one. The back measurement will be measured an imaginary line between the top of the shoulders, about an inch above the belt. An important thing to keep in mind when sizing for your ballistic vest is this is completely different than any other way you've sized yourself, whether it be for a shirt, sport coat, jacket, bra, anything else. It's going to be unique. Again, this vest will fit usually from the upper notch of your sternum to just above your navel. As you can see on this vest here, where the top of the ballistics is just right almost in line with the top of the shoulders and we're sitting roughly an inch above the duty belt. This is where your overlap is going to be on your panels. If you want an overlap, this is where it'll be. More often than not, you want your front panel overlapping your rear panel, keeping any potential gaps away from your threat, which should usually be to your front. A lot of people ask, where should this vest sit on me? How long should it be? How low should it go? How should it fit on the sides? That's gonna be up to you. It's gonna be up to you to determine how often you're gonna be in this vest, range of mobility, and its intended use.